You got us. We surrender. Just please don't kill us. Look, we gotta make a living too, so no hard feelings, all right? Yeah. That battle cry. Damn it, a white flag. I knew it. Those noble pricks are giving up. All that hard work, and it was all for nothing. Nothing sadder than sticking around when you've been beat. Let's get out of here, boss. Do you want us to just stay like this, then? If you enjoy being on your knees with your hands up, hold that pose as long as you want. I'm lowering my hands. Don't attack me, all right? Yeah, right. Like we dirty our swords for nothing. The price of your heads fell to less than one copper just now. Anyway, what are we gonna do, boss? It doesn't look like we'll be getting much of a reward now. We can't afford to bask in the glow of defeat. We need to figure out how we're gonna feed our men. Hey, are you guys headed for anywhere in particular? Because if not, do you want to come with us? Yo, boss. This guy hasn't shut up yet. We're members of a mercenary outfit known as the Guild. I'm asking if you want to join us. mercenary organization led by the master swordsman Godfrey. Though you were an enemy, you showed impressive skill in battle. It would be a shame to let you leave. And I also owe you my life. Well, you heard the man. What do you want to do, Bob? One hundred years have passed since the fall of the Uldain Empire. The long, brutal war left the four great nations crippled and impoverished. Honor and virtue have become distant memories. Now, in the great continent of Rezanel, the battlefield is no longer dominated by knights, but by mercenaries. Some fight to put food on their table. Others fight for bounteous wealth. They plunge headlong into the jaws of death. Not for any nation, but for the glint of gold. Mercenaries who live in an age of war, let their story be told.